Thank you for tuning in to another video. I know how much you guys love DIYs. So tonight, what we're going to do is we're going to pull the OEM torque mounts off the juke. And we're going to do the very common, very old school window weld mounts. So for those of you that don't watch the channel much or don't know, this is my 2013 Nismo Juke. It is not a Nismo RS, it is just a Nismo, so there's no LSD. I currently hold the fastest ET in the front wheel drive Juke at 13.6 at 102.6 or 102.55. The only mods I have done are intake pipes, intercooler pipes, downpipe, midpipe, and exhaust. So it's not a very modded car. I have a 2J Racing uh, tune on uprev with 19 PSI. So there's nothing too crazy done to the car, and I also have a Turbo Smart blow off valve. But tonight, we're going to take these OEM mounts. We're going to do the old school window weld trick. And there's also a torque mount underneath the uh, motor, hooking it to the transmission to the subframe. We're going to window weld that one as well. So obviously the first step is to get the juke jacked up. That is the loudest noise ever, rolling a jack across the uh, pavement. We'll get it jacked up, we'll get it on jack stands, and then we'll get those mounts off. So I removed the top mount, which you need 18 millimeter ratchet with, ratchet with leverage. And all you do is remove this 18 millimeter bolt to the mount, this 18 millimeter bolt to the chassis. Now let's get under the car and get the other one out. So now that we're under the car, we need to remove that 18 millimeter bolt and this bolt right here, which I believe is a 19 or a 21 millimeter to get the lower mount out. So now we have both of the mounts off the car. You can see how much space this motor mount has that allows it to move with the torque of the motor. And you can see right here, this one's already splitting. And the Juke only has 60,000 miles on it, so, you know, that tells you right there that the motor's moving a lot. My favorite product, 3M, window weld. Uh, where do we have this one? AutoZone, 27 bucks for a tube of this. So, motor mounts, semi-solid for 27 bucks. Not a bad deal. Now that uh, we have them off the Juke, we can close the hood, shut the garage, because it's 8, 9 o'clock at night right now, and it's still a good... 85 degrees outside. Thank you, Florida. But let's get to cleaning up the motor mounts. We need to secure them, make sure they're clean, and tape off the backside so that we can fill in with window weld. I always recommend that you use high quality products. 3M, 3M has always done me well. This is what we're going to use to fill the mounts in fast drying urethane. OEM NASCAR performance. I got my cock gun, got my mounts all taped up with my blue painter's tape. You flip it on the other side, you can see there's no light, no holes, no nothing. So these mounts should come out fairly well. So I got my window weld in my gun. And what I'm going to do is I'm barely going to cut the top of the tip off that it took to push and the seal cap on the top just so I can get down deep in the crevices and make sure these mounts get as much window weld in there as possible. We're trying to make these pretty much cheap poly mounts. So now that I have the window weld and all the crevices, you can see the mount is completely full. It's caked in there all over. If we flip them over, you can see it's poking out where those holes were. So we should have a good amount of window weld all the way through the mount. Uh, it's going to take about 18 to 24 hours for it to completely dry. So I'll wait for it to dry and sew them the same way I took them out with the 18 millimeter and the 21 millimeter. And then the Juke will have like brand new motor mounts. So window weld is some uh, nasty stuff. It gets all over your hands, gets all over your fingers. Um, even if you wear gloves, it's really sticky. So it kind of like just makes the glove fingers stick together. 
Uh, an easy way I found to get it off your fingers is, of course, lacquer thinner. Uh, if you don't have lacquer thinner, use like your orange go -go or gojo and some dish soap and then use a little, you know, uh, what is it called? Scotch bright pad and just scrub your fingers and you can get it off pretty easy. So we're away from the dry. We'll put them in. Uh, this will be the end of this video. Like I said, thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. Hopefully you enjoyed the video of cheap motor mounts for the juke or cheap torque mounts for the juke, however you want to call it. Um, I, a lot of people have done it. It's not a very uncommon thing, but everybody does it a different way. Uh, I prefer using a much higher quality product because you get a higher quality end product. So I hope that it actually helps the juke 60 foot better, which it's been proven to. So it should be good for the juke. Uh, it should make it hook better. I uh, don't really have any problems, but it does spin through second gear pretty hard. Uh, I did with the Michelin Pilot Super Sports, of course, it does drive a lot better in the street. I don't get the crazy noise of the radials. And I enjoy it a lot better. I put all the interior back in. So it's actually my daily, daily driver now and uh, enjoy it a lot. So Honda Build Challenge, still going down. Uh, Pablo has his car, Shane has his car, Ron just released their car in this video, Dana has their car, uh, Wyatt Sketchy DA blew up his 50 Shades of Grey, but you know, he has his EG hatch still, his single cam, so he should be in on it, and uh, Robert Burton Racing is in on it, Burton Racing is in on it too, uh, they just did a video of they're going to give their car away, uh, I believe to the winner, or give their car away in general, I don't really watch the whole video I'm gonna watch it later on so we can see what happens with that but the challenge should be good uh, PFI speed Jamie was here we hung out with him at the track of course you guys see Cletus and all of that uh, they said they're interested in doing it too so if we can get them in on it uh, of course it's gonna be a much bigger thing uh, there'll be a lot more eyes on the challenge so until the next one thank you for supporting the smaller channels thank you for supporting me and uh, you guys are the best See you later.